Dala Rieko is derived from two Luo words. Dala, which means home, and Rieko, which means knowledge. Dala Rieko, therefore, means the home of knowledge. It is located at Assembo Bay in Siaya County and was founded in the year 2008 as a community-based organization by Tor and Alex. The main goal of Dala Rieko is to provide a meeting place for sharing of knowledge and good practice. The organization also does other activities such as growing food for food security in the community, planting trees for environmental conservation, green energy practice, especially the use of solar energy, lake conservation, and networking with both local and international organizations. Today, we are going to focus on Dala Rieko's irrigation project. Dalari eko na ngeo kano masubada ya chiel kunjogo mane niye dalari eko mokelo kane wabiro kone adonjo kagi chako kunyo fish pond mane CDO no koro nedu wabedo go kaka yuto mar project wakunyo fish pond sadek kendo ne wakete rech ko wakanyo ukure mana chako kundu goja kanyo mar dalari eko makuro wapu njure wadonjo sa chiel wapu njure nyaka sa bich samuro pu nyalo di mangen kata nyaka sa uchiel kata nyako diambo koro en lore occasional e kunjuru wake dalari ya kono wapu njure kaka wanyalo bedo gi kudo moro matin emye tuwa kucha koro wapu njure go kini kaki piso si dora bolo waka wadok dala wadu watimo mai kwete wa madala and mana punjuru wak mar ngeyo puru lany masani tipu. Dalari ya kokanyo wapi dogi kumoko kaka rabolo, opoyo, alode, maginya luote yudo rekani. Tambende waketo mati marmondo mi wakonyi regodo kendo ori project. What you get here, you get here. Nengo ne yot okchule. Ndi manya sayo me wano no. Koro what you kode girieko manya san. The members of Dala Rieko use solar energy to irrigate their farm. They use solar panels from Nango Solar, which are attached to a wheelbarrow to allow easy portability of the device. The solar panels have photovoltaic cells which convert solar energy to electricity. The electricity is used to power a motor which pumps the water from the lake to the tanks. It uses direct current due to its efficiency and ability to pump more water. The device has an inlet pipe which draws water from the lake and an outlet pipe which takes water to the reservoir tank. The water is channeled to an overhead tank which is connected to other outlet pipes. When the tank is opened, gravity enables the water to flow downwards through the pipes which are then used to irrigate the farm. Before we designed that pump, we used a diesel-powered generator, but we stopped because it was polluting the lake. For example, oil spills while refilling the fuel tanks. It gets washed away by runoff water as it rains and drains to the lake, thus affecting the ecological life in the lake. 
the inlet is from downwards. As it pumps, it creates a load when compared to the upward inlet. We requested the inlet to be changed from up to down since it was exhausting the solar pumps. It was easy to change the inlets from up to down because all we needed to do was to replace the pipes. Changing it is easy actually because the inlet is here. So I just replaced the pipe with this one. So if it feeds from here, then it flows through all these parallel pipes interconnecting the tanks. When you want the water to flow to the other tanks, we just okay. open this valve. Anytime I open this valve, the water gushes to the other tanks. For now, I have closed it because sometimes when the weather is not good, just like today in the morning, there was no sunshine. And the main tanks are empty, but we need to do the irrigation. This one serves as a reservoir. Otherwise, we mainly use it for drip irrigation. Come, let's have a look at the machine that I had mentioned earlier that pumps water to the overhead tank. Look, green indicates that the tanks are full. Therefore, I have to switch it off. It uses solar power too. It pumps water from here and all these five tanks are interconnected. The capacity of one tank is 5,000 liters adding up to a total of 25,000 liters. The other tanks on the other side are 2,500 liters. The water stored there is only used for irrigation. Siaya County has an irrigation potential of 7,100 hectares. I am going to practice this at home. I plant bananas and vegetables beside my house. I apply the splash irrigation method and also get food from my farm. To add on to the irrigation, we also practice mulching. As you can see, I am mulching using wet water hyacinth. Mulching helps to retain the moisture in the soil and she also acts as manure. When you do mulching using water hyacinth, it helps retain moisture around the banana roots. We work well, and we work as a team. When the time is up, we disperse and practice the same thing in our homes. Over-reliance on rain-fed agriculture has been the major reason for food insecurity in Siaya County. This has made the county a net importer of most foodstuffs. With an irrigation potential of 7,100 hectares, Siaya County would be food secure if more focus is put on expanding areas under irrigation from the current 10% to 20% in the next five years. The areas suitable for irrigation are found along Lake Victoria and Kanyaboli, Ribayala, Nzoia, and major streams such as Uroya. I am replanting because some of the vegetables I planted didn't grow very well. I already prepared the holes for the plants that were to be replaced.
I sleep at night knowing my next day plan. I come here to do my work and then I go home later after finishing work. I no longer face some problems like lack of food after coming here. I can always take home with me some vegetables, ripe bananas, and some money too. I believe this place has prolonged my life. The county government of Siaya plans to put more focus on programs aimed at revitalizing stalled irrigation schemes and increasing areas under irrigated agriculture in the next five years. Tune in to the next episode to learn more about Dalarieku.